everybody, welcome to Rana's Radar. Now today I have an awesome treat for you. I'm pretty excited about this because I'm going to my first interiors shop. That's right. Now we have been checking out some of the body shops around town and I love the engines, I love the machine, everything gets me excited. But it's time to look at those things that really gives it its class for all the classics and that is the interiors. So I'm here today with Steve and Veronica Holcomb. How's it going you two? Going Hi. good. I'm excited, this is your shop and you're right here so close to me, so I've been wanting to see you guys for, I think for quite some time now. So let's start off. Good. Glad you can make it. For people literally all over the world, uh, they bring them to us as, I mean, nothing in them. With nothing in them. Sometimes there's a pair of seats and if I don't like them, we'll get something different. You know, if it don't flow with the car, we just want to make everything, you know, full custom, cool looking interior, you know, I know it costs a lot of money for interior, so we want to do the best that we can do and make sure that you get a really good product. But that's a big part of the classic restoration process. Mm -hmm. The interiors is a huge part. <clears throat> now, we're in one of the buildings, there is a fair few. So, mm -hmm. where are we standing right now? Well, this right here is one of our, it's the cleaner shop, <laughs> but we do start doing prep work and stuff. Once a car comes in, it'll come down here or up there to our metal shop. Okay. And uh, we'll start doing all the floor prep, uh, maybe getting door panels and things like that made. And then when those are done, as we're finishing up cars in the other garage, then they rotate. So once those leave, then another one will be put in a big shop and we'll do the finishing uh, touches on all that. Now, there is some cars down here that have a finished interior pretty much waiting on the customer to come and get it or whatever so you know it it, it duels as a starting shop and a finish shop starting shop and a finish shop for interiors now somebody who's learning like myself and other people out there what do interiors include well most all i, I can show you a car over here that we just got finished doing okay and uh, sort of explain a little bit what we what we've got going on This car right here is actually going to Dubai. Okay. Here really soon. But you can sort of see the interior. We've, uh, we've still got a couple of little things we're gonna finish up on this one. I got, I got to finish uh, wow. uh, track mounts and hiding that stuff right there. But if you look inside there, I'm gonna turn on the electricity. We do all the custom door panels, uh, 3D lighting, things like that. Make all, everything's handmade. All the console, the door panels with 3D. I like the back lighting and, and the aluminum polished trim. It just looks like it's like a diamond sitting there. You know, it just finishes, it gives it a finishing touch. This is just magnificent. Belle wagon. Yeah. A belle wagon. Now this is going to Dubai, which I've come across several of your customers. Yeah. That's how I know about you. I've seen your work, award-winning work, and we can see it right here as well. I mean, these interiors are absolutely Phenomenal. Steve, your clientele is international, I'm guessing. It is, yes. Wow, all the way. And now this is going to get shipped back to Dubai. Right. We got a customer from Guam. We do a lot from Canada and things like that. Loving the headliner. Everywhere from California to the East Coast to the West Coast. Washington State. Yeah. Canada. All over America. Now this is all handmade. So not only the, obviously the seat and the leather, but we're talking about the lights and the trim as well. Yeah, everything is, um, everything's handmade. We buy the aluminum pieces and uh, 10 foot sticks. We bend it, shape it, polish it, drill it, everything to match each individual car that we work on. So I'll design the, uh, the aluminum trim, you know, me and the whole rest of the crew, you know, we'll just, start in there and a lot of times somebody's like well, what are you gonna do i'm like well i have no idea until we get in there and do it <laughs> but if you send me a rendering we can make that car look just like the rendering also like eric brockmeyer does a lot of renderings and uh, we'll we'll just take that drawing and put it into an interior wow i'm speechless and you guys know when i've got nothing to say i'm actually speechless because i love the belays and i've never seen a wagon done this well so did your client for this particular classic um, give you a rendering or did he just leave it up to you? No, he just left it up to us. He, he's seen a lot of work that we've done online and things like that. He said, Steve, I just want you to give me the wow factor. And he's got, this guy has got, he said he's got over 
200 Tri-5 cars in Dubai that he works on. He's done anything from convertibles to wagons to hardtops to postcars to any type of Tri-5 car, 55, 6, and 7. Yeah. He's got probably one of every one of them. I mean, he's got two of them in line for us to get done next after he gets this one back. You never know, I'm all over the place, but if I'm ever in Dubai, then I would have to connect with him because right. that's my favorite period and I have to see the collection. Before we move on, <clears throat> see behind me? No, you cannot see because that has to be kept a secret. And the only car that can be kept a secret until the big reveal, of course, this is going to Detroit. It is, going to the Detroit Auto Show uh, coming up in 24. It's not far. Not far, so we got a lot of work to do. <laughs> okay, so there's more work that needs to be done. Oh yeah, we have started on it, um, but there's we still got to do a lot to it. But it's pretty much uh, ready. Once we get done with it, they'll go and clean it up, do the final buff and polish and whatever, you know, to get it yeah. show ready. But yeah, that will be, it's a 56 okay. um, Chevrolet Bel Air. It will be introduced at the Detroit Auto Show. You know, when I was in Detroit, one of the things that fascinated me was the fact that these cars had to be kept hidden, Veronica, right? Like, mm -hmm. nobody could take pictures, and when a car is getting worked in the process, and especially with so many people in the shop, that was one of the things I was curious about, is how do you keep it a secret? How do you stop in today's modern day technology with everyone's got phones? Mm -hmm. So you, sir, as a business owner, how have you been kept in keeping this as a secret, and for how long? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we just got the car probably about a month ago, and then, but we don't really allow pictures. A lot of people will ask, can I take a picture? And I say, yeah, of everything but this or that yes. or whatever. So, and then we'll keep it covered up or, you know, while we're working on it. We've done nine grade eight cars uh, so far in Detroit. Hopefully, maybe this will be the 10th one. Well, so. I would not be surprised if it was. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, we got another 57 Chevrolet. This one's a post car. We, got, we started doing prep work and things on this one. So now tell me about when you said post car. So this right here is called a considered post. Okay. And then a hard top, it just comes back all the way and the, both windows connect. So yeah, you can get a 57 convertible, 57 station wagon, they call it a post and a hard top. So there's a bunch of, they made a bunch of different styles of Chevrolets back in the 50s. This is, this is pretty much what we start with. We like the floor. We put a foam on there and sand everything down to where we get all the bumps and everything out of the floor. That way when you put the carpet on it, it's just super smooth because I, I hate seeing wrinkles and things like that in the floorboard or any, any part of the car when we're done with it. So what, what is this exactly? It's called a, a closed cell foam. Um, we put a quarter inch foam over the whole thing and then it'll sand it down smooth. And then when you put the carpet over it, it just it makes a really nice clean flat surface. Those are the things that make those fine details, isn't it? There's a lot of things in these cars that you don't see when the car is finished, but it, there's a lot of work that goes into it before we can even start covering. Wow. And when the cars come to you, obviously I can see that the bodywork is all done, the paint is all done, and right. interiors is one of the last things. Mm -hmm. Just icing on the cake. Yeah. yeah. Icing on the cake. That's a good way to put it. <laughs> you can sort of see underneath the cars how well these things are built and, and painted and polished and they're just as nice on the bottom as they are on the top absolutely because so show cars come to you yeah yeah and we that's do mainly that's what our specialty is a lot of show cars that's a little 51 nash up on the top but you, you can see all the underneath of it and what's what's up in the air i don't guess you get to see a lot of what's underneath it looks like while they're sitting on the ground Yep, unless they've got the mirrors to display, but you know, I've never seen a Nash done as a show car. We've seen, I've seen a fair few of them at the shows, but show car material to this level. Yeah, that one's, wow. that one's actually got a, uh, a Ford EcoBoost four-cylinder turbocharged motor in it, so it's, it's going to be pretty crazy. He wanted something totally different than what everybody else has, and I said, well, you got it. And that's what, only 3,100 pounds, I'm guessing? Yeah, they're not much. They're, they're not, not much. <laughs> I mean, one of these Camaros are like 3,200 pounds, so yeah, it's probably even less than that. Probably it's not probably less than that. take for a complete 
interiors to be done? Normally the cars here at least around six months, six, seven months, because we're finishing up other cars. So while the, when you bring them down here, we'll start getting materials and everything for it. Because there's a lot of things it's hard to get now, like some of the carpets and stuff. So you have to order it. It may take three or four weeks to get it, mm -hmm. especially like convertible tops. Um, since the COVID thing hit and a lot of people, I don't even know what's going on in the world out there, yeah, but it's hard to get a lot of that stuff. You know, it may take, you know, three or four or five weeks just to get a convertible top. So we start, if the, once the car's here, it's in line to get done. And usually when they're here, we start doing the prep work because you'll see as we walk up through the other shops, almost every car is being worked on at the same time. So there's, we've got nine people uh, working, 10 including myself. Um, that does the interiors on the car. So there's a car that leaves here about every week to 10 days. So, you know, it's not one of them things. Yeah, we can get a car done quickly, but we work on so many of them at a time. They, it's in a, like a, an assembly a line. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Oh, nice. All right. Some people will ask like, you know, what does my car look like now? Can you send pictures? And like, well, you're not really going to understand the picture. It's not going to look like how you want it to look, you know, because yeah. they don't know the process. So it kind of looks like a disaster. And when you're before you get to the final result, so he prefers not to really sign in between pictures. Which, which, which makes sense because I mean, you know, if somebody wants to come and look at their Berlehi that they've given you, and they're like, "Wait, what I've got in mind? What is this?" And they start talking, and, and they get worried. They get worried. <laughs> <laughs> like, Don't worry. Yeah. And, and you can't be having that. You've got work to do. <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty crazy what happens. You know, a lot of people they just really don't have a clue what they want. They'll just give me their car and say, "Here, I don't even want to pick out the material." I'm like, "Wow." This, this one guy brought me a, a truck. Okay. And it was a, the Synergy Green truck. And he said, "I don't like black and I don't like tan." Well, what else goes with green? Yes. So he said, "Other than that, he said you picked out the color and you designed it and everything." I said, "Okay." I said, "But." You don't like it, you're still paying for it. And he just yep. laughed. So when we got it done, I called him up and I said, hey, your car is finished. And he's like, what color did you put in? I said, doesn't matter. He's like, what do you mean? Wait, I said, you told it? me whatever. So uh, he said he couldn't sleep for two days. <laughs> After he come and looked at it, he absolutely loved it. So what we wind up, I mean, really what goes with green other than black and tan? Yes, or cream. Yeah, well, he didn't like any kind of the tan brown mixtures at okay. all. So what I actually did, since it was a Synergy green color, we went with a dark green leather and then put the Synergy green stitch in. And he's like, that's perfect. Wow. Nice. So, you know, it's uh, what we want these cars to look as good as what you want them to look yeah. like. Because, I mean, that's how we stay busy. Repeat customers and referrals and people see it and like, wow, where'd you get that done at? And the reputation speaks for itself. Uh, thank you. And, and, and that's what, how I had come to know about yourself and your work. So... Yeah, this, this is exciting. There's a Riddler car in the making in the background. Yeah. Let's move on to the next shop, Steve and Veronica. Okay. <laughs> Hang on. Can you fit that little car right back there? Yeah, make it fit this door panel. Okay. They're really nice okay. and neat. Uh -huh. All right, Steve, talk to us. Where are we? Okay, this is another garage we got working on. This is Craig. Craig's one of our guys that builds panels and things Thank like you. that. Thank you. Working on a little 59, trying to get it all ready. So, yeah, we're building. So like these, got little metal panels that'll go up here and then the door panel fits on that. And then once, and then we start putting our design on it and covering it and all that stuff. Craig's one of our guys that makes, starts making door panels. And you see the floor is done in this one covering. Uh, this is a 59 uh, Impala. Convertible. So the floor gets done first and then we start on the door panels. Pretty much, yeah. We'll do get the floor and everything finished. That way when we start making all of our panels, we'll make it fit exactly to the floor and you know there's no gaps, no guess guesswork or anything. Sometimes we do a little backwards, but then we can go back and trim it up. So Craig, how long does it take to do the door panels? I uh, just well just my part about usually a day. The day. Yes, ma'am. And the door panels we're referring to just the top bit teeth, or are we looking at the, the, the entire door? Oh, the oh, the actual full panel inside, yeah. And of course, with the door panels, we're talking windows and the armrest and all that other stuff. So, when does that go on? Yeah, the the windows and everything is already in the car when we get them. Okay. It's all ready to go. Now, when he says the day to build a door panel, that's not complete. That's just getting the snaps and stuff yeah. in it ready to start doing some. 
worth right. that. Just so, my, my little part. Yeah. <laughs> Every part is as important no as the whole project, that. right? And right here's a 57 convertible. <laughs> this. We, we do a ton wow. of Tri-5 cars. We do a bunch of them. This is, um, okay, wow. So yeah, there's a lot of really nice, you know, Let's get the big block Chevrolet in there. Most, a lot of cars have the um, LS motors in them. But with the Tri-5, I have noticed, like, especially with the, at the show car level, mm -hmm. it is usually a big block. And with the trucks, more LSs. Yeah. I mean, like when we do Bobby's cars, pretty much all of his cars are big block. Yes, they are. Big motors, big wheels, big, you know, pretty much got the same look as a factory, but the big motor, he's known for the big motor, big wheels. And, of course, we do all, all the interior work on the cars when he's finished with those. And of course, the big motor just looks so beautiful. Oh, yeah. Inside it the, the tri yeah. yeah. It fills the whole compartment well. Let's have a look here. This is pretty much what they look like when they come in. When the wolves, <laughs> they come in, it's like, what in the world? You know, and they, but that's, that's what they look like with just nothing in them. And we just start building everything and covering it and making it look like a brand new car. Wow, because it is overwhelming when you first get a project like this. You're like, okay, so where do we start? You know, it's, wow. Well, you see the floors in this car. You see all the ripples and stuff in the, you see how it's all rippled? And yes. That's why we put the uh, foam and stuff in the floorboard to get rid of all of that. All the nuts and bolts that you see in the bottom of it, wires that go through it. You know, all that stuff is hidden when we, when we do the prep work on the floor. A lot of people don't, well, even most nobody sees what we do from the beginning or what they look like from the beginning. They just see the end result. And I was like, oh, that's pretty easy, but they don't see all the stuff that goes into getting it to where exactly. it looks like it was easy. There's a difference between doing the interior yourself, of course, and having it get oh, done yeah. at this level. And mm -hmm. it comes down to those smooth lines, smooth finishes. I do notice that the dash is all done. Yeah. So yeah, most of the cars, the dash are done. Some of them, we cover the dash. Like when we get into the other garage, I'll show you some cars that we've had to, that we'll have to cover the dash and stuff in and in. Okay. So you would do the dash. And what about when it comes to the electronics and the stereo sound system? We do all the stereo. If, it, if people want stereo, um, amplifiers, subwoofers, all that, we just incorporate that in with the interior. Okay. So if you, if you have some stuff that you want, to put in the car, I just say go shopping and bring it, throw it in the back of the car and we'll put it all together. And you'll put it all together. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. And the interiors would continue on to, if we're looking at a pickup, the truck, the bed as well. Oh, we really don't do anything to the beds of the truck. Okay. Uh, we got a couple of, we got a truck in here we're working on in the other garage, I'll show you it real quick. Thanks, Craig. You're welcome, thank you. Have a good day. You too. All right, there's a lot happening here. Now, this is the main <laughs> shop that we finish the cars up with, yeah. And now we can tell it's interiors because look at all the fabric and leather up there. Uh, all we Manual do, leather. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's all we do is custom leather interiors. We don't do any vinyl work at all. Okay. I just don't like doing it. It don't last, and this costs a lot of money. And there's no sense wasting your money on a vinyl interior when it's just going to fall apart. The, the there you go, everybody. <laughs> so. All right. So what have we got here? GTO. Yeah, this is a 1967 GTO, and this one came in with the stereo already hooked up, so we didn't have to do any of the stereo work on this car. Um, some of them come in with the stereos and everything already pre-wired and ready to go, and some of them don't have. So we, we work either way. Mm -hmm. You know, if you need stereo done, we do it. If not, we just incorporate things around it. My son Noah put the convertible top on. He did an excellent job. We make sure that every single wrinkle and everything is out of all these. You know, if we have to take it apart 10 times, that's what we got to do, take it apart. So earlier you said your cousin Tim? My cousin Tim's running around here somewhere. I don't know. This is Richard. How's Richard, it going? Richard's been with us for what, about eight, 19 years, I guess now. Isn't it? Yeah, 19 right? years? Yeah. <laughs> he started when he was a baby, pretty much. He was a teenager when he started here. Okay. So, yeah. And what is it about interiors that drew you so much that you've been here now for 19 years? What do you do here? A uh, little bit of everything, really. <laughs> Whatever he tells me to do. <laughs> Whatever he tells you to do. Well, that's why you've been here for 19 years. <laughs> and you said your son was working on the, or son-in-law? No, that's my son. It's his son. Yeah, no, he's running. Oh, did they leave or something? Uh, oh, they're in the back. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, while you're there, there's Will. Will's working on her, one of the consoles for the 70 Camaro that we're 
Oh, I'll let's show have you a here look at this. Okay. This is the starting what it looks like as we're covering it. So this one will get all red leather with the gray stitch in this one. It blends in with the wheels that's on the car. We've been doing this a long time. Yeah, that's yes, been a minute. So I'm guessing we're gonna see some areas where the stitching takes place. The yeah, machine I'll and... show you it upstairs. Okay, that looks great, mate. Thank you. Thank you. This is Noah. This is my son Noah. He's one put some convertible tops on, and he's How's it doing. Going? Going he actually good. designed all the back stuff and everything for this Corvette, and they're working on that one right now. You sort of look, look in the back window. And That's see. very different. It's got a yeah. It's got, it'll have the speakers in the back and things like that. This car will get all black leather with the silver stitching in. So you sort of see a little bit of the prep work and everything on this. We um, flatten up the floor, that way it looks nice and neat and build all that Wow, we've stuff. got almost the table back here. Yeah, yeah. when all that's covered, it'll just make, it just cleans up the floor, makes it look really nice. It'll be all carpet all the way across. We'll make another subfloor that'll go over top of this with carpet. And then this will come up, and then when you see it, it'll all just blend in real nice together. Because obviously, if we didn't have this, then this is well, not as level. Yeah, there's a lot of humps and everything that's in the car, and I just it just looks a lot cleaner looking when you. I mean, a lot of interior shops probably wouldn't go to the extreme of building all this and then covering it, but to get the look that we want it to look, we we go try to go above and beyond what normally would be done in a car. I guess that's why some of the reason is when we see the Riddler cars and when I have seen those high-end top show cars as well with part of the Select 6, is you look at it and you think, is this drivable? Have you been driving this? Because it looks like something that would just be displayed in a ma as a, on a mantelpiece yeah. somewhere. But here it is right here. This is the stuff that really makes it pop, really gives it that finish line. A lot of work. Mm. A lot of work, Steve. And right here's another. We I said, we specialize in a lot of Corvettes. This night, I'll, I'll hook up the battery so you can see what the LED lights look like. But this is, this one's getting close to being done with the, with the panels and stuff in that. Did our lights come on? Yep. Yeah. Nice. Wow, so again, interiors, everything from carpet, seats, mm. stereos, the dash, complete with LED lighting. Let's have a look at this, wow. So the interior, this is the seats we're gonna, I designed these and I have a, another company, uh, they're actually B-Rod Custom built this, this car and they, they built me the seats. I designed them for these cars so they'll set down and set you back because the original seats are just not comfortable in these cars. No. So we take this and then all this will be covered. You see right here, we, we did all the LED lighting in this. We still got to do the insert and uh, cover the dash, I mean uh, the console. And then this car will be ready to roll. Oh, but like these will have all, you know, separate compartments and everything where you can, they'll have hideaway stuff in there and then you can let that down and get into the storage back here. I like that we've kept that so it's original um, yeah. place for that little mm -hmm. storage compartment there. Wow, that is soft. And I can only imagine how it would feel once the leather is on. Yeah, it, it definitely makes it where it's comfortable to drive. And this one's got the uh, LS motor in it. It's a big four-wheel drive truck. Now the original wheels and tires, he couldn't even get it in a trailer to get it to us. So that's why it's got these on there, just so they can get it in the trailer and get it to us. But this was like a show truck four-wheel drive. It'll have the big gigantic wheels on it. All the interior, uh, putting the stereo and stuff in this one. It'll have a bench seat. I'll show you it upstairs. But we'll build a console. It'll have a big screen TV right here with the navigation and everything. So wow. right now we're hooking up the stereo and getting all that ready to go. I love it. Such variety. We've got. Beautiful pickup right next to a classic Corvette. Yeah. <laughs> this is actually the headliner that'll go in that pickup truck. It's sort of, you see the black with the blue inside of it. And that's what the uh, 
seats look like upstairs too. Oh, nice. We still got to cover the outside of this in the leather and then put it all together and then straight, uh, put it in the, in the car, in the truck. That's a cool truck, everybody. Oh, you sort of see the motor in this thing. It's got, you can tell it's got a lot of framework and chrome work and artwork in that. That's why we're doing the interior in this one black with a blue stitch. Yep. With a hint of blue in it, uh, that way it'll bring out the, all the, the blue that they put in the motor and, and things like that. nice to see the lifted trucks at the show level as well because we often see them yeah you don't see a lot down of them on the like ground them. no this is 70 camaro this one's got the backlighter but we don't we don't have all that hooked up yet but this is the car that will's working on the console with over there on the table okay yeah mm -hmm. and it'll all go in this one So you have, we have to make all the center pieces and everything that goes into the console so you sort of see it in a bunch of pieces then um We've got, we'll fix and pull that dash out and cover it, but all these, all this back area is all made. Um, we don't use any of the original seat unless you just want to put an original interior back in it. But we don't specialize really in the original interiors, but we can do it. But what it's all we custom do is, here, isn't it? It's pretty much all, well, that's what we're known for is just full custom uh, work on these old cars and stuff. Okay, yep, so this is where we were talking about before, about the door panels. So those panels go over all the mechanical window works. Now I'll show you upstairs where... There's an upstairs? Yeah, we'll go up this way right after here. This, you. Is, this is where the, uh, <laughs> all the sewing is. All right, Veronica, you come after me then. This is where the real mess is. This is it. Yeah, this is really yeah, lived in. Behind the beautiful, luxurious classics that we see. This is where it all happens, man. Like this seat right here will go in that truck. You sort of see. This is my son, Garrett. He does most How's all it the. Going? He does going most good. all the sewing and stuff. You're joking. Okay, move over, Steve. Let yeah, me have a chat with you. Chat with Garrett for a minute. <laughs> How's it going, mate? It's going good. How are you? I'm good, thank you. You do most of the sewing. I try to do a lot of it. There's another guy here that does quite a bit of sewing with us, but we're working on different seats. He's doing the, uh, is it the silver Camaro that's down there? That's what uh, those seats will be for. And then I'm working on the uh, the Corvette that's just right under us. That'll be, that's what these seats are for. So that's what I'm trying to work on now is that Corvette. Absolutely love it. The entire family is hands-on. Yeah, oh yeah. This this is absolutely beautiful. Now Gary, how long have you been doing this and when did your passion start? I've, I've been here for like four years I think now, but I just, I've always enjoyed like watching him yep. work and trying to pay attention to how it's done, but it really got started just working here four years ago, like just starting out of high school. I was just going to ask you, so this would have been something you would have taken up in high school? Yeah, like I kind of, I didn't really work a ton in high school, but um, like as soon as high school ended, that's when I tried to just jump he, in he and do what I could. Here. I mean, he'd be running around the tables, you know, yeah. so this is his home, but I'd yeah. actually be working in here, it's been a few years. Yeah. But he's learned really quickly. He's picked it up really fast because not everybody can do that. No, not at all. <laughs> wow, this is this is awesome. I, I love I love it when things are family run. And now you're telling me Gary's been here as a child running around. I mean, there were pictures, and now he he is. It's nice because it's the next generation taking over. So we have two sons, two cousins, and everybody else is like family. So we're very close. Explain to her what you do on these pleats right here to get them going. Yeah, on those. Uh, they are different. I thought they yeah. were stitching, but they're not. No, look how different that is. Oh, they've got big indents in between those. Mm -hmm. That's a really oh. late model style pleat that we work with on that. Yeah, Come on, like Gary, these, tell us. Uh, that, uh, these pleats will go on like uh, a piece of like headliner first, and then we'll glue foam like this on it and we'll just have kind of like a design drawn out. That'll be like a pleat coming down and uh, we'll cut that foam out and then tuck the material into that uh, pleat that we just cut out. 
Into the indents? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it does like like an indention of space and then that's where you get like the the deepness of it and tucking it in between all those pleats. We still gotta put this seat together. It's just yeah. sewn up. We gotta put it together now. And not only that, the foam's gonna give it extra cushioning as well. Yeah, yeah. And it gives it that defined sharp lines yeah. in there instead of just taking a piece of half inch foam and, and sewing a line on it. And it, it just, this is a lot more modern style, mm -hmm. uh, upgraded type of interior that we've come up with. I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting so many ideas. <laughs> But Gary, this is fabulous work. And I love the fact that you do this right here with your family and you're a young guy. So yeah. you like classics? Oh yeah, no, I definitely have always been into more like classic cars and uh, always thought they just like were better looking than newer cars and just, and then like some more just recently paying attention to how all this stuff is done and made and trying to just figure out how to put it all together. It's just, it's a, I enjoy it. You enjoy, I can yeah. tell you do. I can tell you do. And that's why you're producing such great work. We Thank love you. it. Absolutely love it. Thank you for that. No I don't problem. want to disturb you too much because there's a lot going on. And I don't even know how to use a sewing machine, everybody. So that is fascinating. <laughs> yeah, we'll go back downstairs. I'll show you the wood shop that we do most of all the woodworking and cutting and everything. It's in a separate part so that we don't, we try to keep all the cars pretty dust free. There's cousin Tim. He's been with me forever since we was babies. <laughs> How's it way going, back, Tim? Way back in the early, day, early nineties, playing with the little cars together. Wow, you guys grew up together. Yeah, yeah, yeah pretty much playing with model cars. Yeah. And now here you are playing with the real cars. Big, big cars now. <laughs> oh, that's uh, awesome. And what do you do here, Tim? Whatever needs done. Whatever needs done. Tool repair. Whittle and melt plastic. Everything. He makes some of the coolest custom consoles and dashes that, that we put in these cars. You're on. very humble, okay? <laughs> I'm totally loose He's in very him. talented. Yeah. Yeah. He's very talented. He can fix anything and work it. He'll, he'll figure it out. He'll figure mm -hmm. it out. Or find somebody that can. <laughs> Tim's the man. Thank Re you. Resources. <laughs> this, this is what it looked like when we first started out. I mean, that was a long time ago, back in 91. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's what I say every time I look at it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow, this is amazing. Of course, has to be a 32 Ford that for was Shades one of, of the Past. Shades of the Past cars that we did right there, top, uh, top 25. That was uh, in 1998. That was the first uh, Shades of the Past car that we did. Wow. Or that one, you know, shade the past. That, yep. Back when we was getting started doing the street rod style interiors. Mm -hmm. and of course, we do all of our woodworking shop in this area right here. We've got all of our saws and drills and everything that we need in this hall. We keep all of our plastic and everything here. We make our patterns on the cars, bring the patterns in here, cut it out, shape it, finish it. And, Put it into this car. So. You know, this shop is fairly recently made, which was hmm. desperately needed. So. It's a, yeah, we added it on. You just keep expanding. Yes. Keep it needing more and more room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. It's it's a blessing for sure. Yeah. To be so busy. Yeah, yeah. You like to buy it over there. Oh, okay. That's all right. <laughs> Thank you. Just let you know so you run off the I appreciate it. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if I did run off and forget my bag. I've done that before. <laughs> <laughs> so we've had a, one of the one of the reasons that we've gotten um, so popular, I guess, is because uh, Scotty D came with. You know, you know Scotty. Yeah. He came here probably about. Man, I guess it's been about 13, 14, 15 years ago, and we started doing videos together. So now. You know, all these cool cars, he does a video on all of them. Okay. And now they, I mean, that's why everybody in the world knows who we are. It's pretty much through that uh, Scotty D TV uh, program. That is awesome. So, um, Scotty D TV, mm -hmm. YouTube channel, of course, I've seen his stuff as well. Um, he comes in here and individually with the cars, he goes through it. Yeah, when, when, when we're finished with the car, we'll take them down in the cul-de-sac. That little hill that you walked down just yep. a few minutes ago, 
all the cars go watch what you can watch them go down the hill and then we put them in the cul-de-sac he'll do a good video all the way around it you know explain things that's going on and then so i mean it's it's worked out really good having him doing that for the last i mean years so yeah. Well, 12, 13, 14, for those years. of you who don't know, and most of you do, head over to Scotty DTV because we like to have a chat, and obviously we like to look more at the history of Steve, Veronica, and how the shop came about. Mm -hmm. But each of these cars, there is so much detail, there is so much work that I'm sure his videos will do it a lot more justice to see the finished product, and then you would get an idea and understanding of exactly the work that happens mm -hmm. here. Yeah. Okay. And then, did I see Hannah come in here? Yeah, she went upstairs. Oh, Hannah, come here a second. Little baby Hannah. Yeah. Hannah can tell you, she'll come in here, she's been around this thing since birth, and she can come around here and she goes, Dad, there's a little spot right here you gotta fix, or Dad, there's a little spot right there. And I'm like, okay, sweetie, I'll get it taken care of. So that's, she's a good set of eyes. This is a, How's it our going, youngest Hannah? one, Hannah. Yeah. Wow, so the she... finished product. So you come in here and with your white glove, and you check and make sure that Dad's work is oh, all yeah. done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she takes me. She makes sure that I, that we do what we need to do. Wow, uh, so that is cool. awesome. What's your favorite car? I really don't know. I've seen like so many come through here. <laughs> it, I know it's like every weekend almost. There's a new car coming in, and everything looks so good. How can you pick? Yeah. Yeah, I can understand that. So she wants to drive them all. <laughs> she wants to drive them all. <laughs> yeah. Well, you'll have when will you get your one done? eventually would have to expect something very unique because having that eye and seeing all this work and happening then is that the plan one day hopefully yeah one day a classic love it absolutely love it when the younger kids get involved and not only that you're a girl so that's even awesome mm. <laughs> thank you Han. thank you so yeah that's pretty much all the shop and then um, everything you know the, what we do and how we do it in the process of doing it Pleasure to meet you also. Yeah, I'm very happy of everything and I thank you again for sharing that journey with me. You're more welcome. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, you too.